So, uh, today I'm going to tell you how Hyperledger Fabric can move uh, charity to a principal uh, new level of trust. Um, so, let me say a few words regarding background of our system. Uh, so, uh, what is the platform about? So, uh, the Karma project is a charity foundation platform based on Hyperledger Fabric. It is uh, developed for fundraising and uh, it brings charity to a new level uh, because of new level of trust. So uh, this is a platform um, with really big uh, charity funds. Uh, this is about building an ecosystem and uh, of really trusted funds uh, and like it's a sort of consortia. So, key challenges uh, that we are facing with the classic one fundraising systems. So, first of all, uh, it's a uh, lack of transparency. Uh, you don't able to get all the information you want and you feel like, you know, it will be absolutely clear, but you're not getting this information and you start to feel uncomfortable with this, that you are not controlling the way of this information and the way of money, how they spend it. Uh, the fraud by some really bad uh, organizations, and of course, uh, inability to track the way uh, of all these transactions. I mean, from the very beginning, when somebody needs help and you're giving money to this person or project or a charity uh, foundation, and then how they're spending it and the results. In a typical classical system right now, uh, you, for example, uh, able only to give someone help and then see like nice pictures that you, uh, for example, uh, somebody got some medicine or some operation and so on. So uh, what benefits uh, this system gives uh, uh, because of blockchain? So first of all, uh, it will be able to bring principal uh, new principal and new uh, users who not believe in a classic um, charity funds right now in a classic system. And uh, the second important point that uh, we think that this kind of system are able to invite a younger generation. Uh, it was a problem and it's still a problem right now that uh, people from 20 to 30 years old, they don't have, a, how to say, a culture of a regular charity uh, as an older generations. And it's a really big problem right now for uh, charity organizations and they're working on it. And the most important thing to know about it that um, it's not a principal new way and we want to avoid, for example, classic one systems. No, it's a complementary way uh, to improve the way people are getting fundraising and so on. So few words about interaction models and uh, what participants do we have on the platform. So we have a philanthropist who donates funds uh, for people who need help, for people, for projects, for uh, charitable foundations. Uh, we have these char charitable foundations uh, who are organizing fundraising for projects and people who need help. We have bank or uh, bank uh, service providers who guarantee uh, spending of money and who providing us information regarding this uh, spending. And we have beneficiaries, uh, people who need this help. Potentially uh, for the next uh, releases of the platform. We are planning to uh, connect service companies and medical institutions who will be able uh, to provide information regarding the final stage of spending uh, on this platform. So how donation process uh, look like on the platform? First of all, the beneficiary places an application uh, for assistance on the platform that the person need help. Then there are some uh, check from on the side of fund they reviews this application and in case that everything is okay, uh, they're taking this on board. Then uh, rises uh, a fundraising project on the platform 
And after collection is completed, the fund withdraws uh, money and then ordering targeted services or products or what else is required. And after that, as I mentioned before, service companies and medical institutions uh, provide data on these uh, fund spends and uh, it really improves the process. And after that, system, of course, automatically generate reports. And um, so let's uh, move to demo, how it looks right now. Um, it will be easier to show it on video and I'll provide some of my comments. So um, this is the marketplace of the projects. Um, I'll be putting it on stop maybe a little bit. So at the top of this, uh, we can see uh, the most urgent projects for, we, uh, for which uh, we need help urgently. We have some um, different directions of projects. So we have uh, help for children, for adults, for older person, for animals, and some information regarding farms. So returning back to a um, project, so we're going on a first one to help this dog, for example, it's a test. So we have our information regarding this project, uh, we have uh, information regarding uh, people who already helped, and so on. So this is a help page, I'm taking a mount. Uh, now it's available in rubles or in uh, dollars. We are providing an amount of money that we want to put, we providing our uh, email and we are specifying is it a one-time help or we want to do it on a basis. So right now uh, we have a service provi payment service provided cloud payments. So this is a test transaction. So we already have integration with them, uh, but this is a test card. Uh, and after that we are generating a uh, call for the API and we can generate a positive or negative transaction as we want. In future, of course, for sure it will be a real one transaction. So we're providing a number of cards, all necessary data and then um, email. And yeah, and after that, uh, paying. And as I mentioned before, here we are specifying, do we want to make it a successful or unsu unsuccessful transaction? I'm taking successful transaction. And after that, I would like to show you how it looks uh, in uh, Blockchain Explorer, that it's real. Uh, right now we have still the same amount. Uh, so we will go to, uh, Explorer, but first of all, I would like to show you uh, email that I got from the fund. Yeah, this is a new one. So this is the completion of this transaction successfully from the perspective of bank uh, service provider. So returning back to Hellf Explorer, so we can see uh, these uh, last blocks, last transactions, and last events, and we already can see our transaction for this uh, money transfer here. So let's go in transactions. Yeah, this is Karma Coin emit transaction. And let's go inside. Yeah, so here we can see the amount of money um, and all this information. Uh, yeah, and after that we will return to uh, uh, a user page uh, on the marketplace page and then we can see that amount have changed. So uh, this is uh, the main functionality that I want you to show. Of course it's bigger, um, there are some information regarding funds, there are different types of fundraising. I mean you are able to support not only concrete project but you are able to support fund uh, if you want some charity organizations because it's Every time it's an issue to support this fund. Uh, so what are the main things I would like to mention uh, finally? So first of all, um, charity platform based on a blockchain can significantly increase the amount of money we are able to collect uh, for charity organizations. Uh, first of all, uh, Karma 
uh, secondly, <laughs> sorry, uh, Karma project demonstrates the novel approach uh, when we implement permissions blockchain for uh, a public charity platform. The third thing that was really important because we make a really great research and we got a feedback from quite a lot of charity foundations. So this platform meets high standards of accessibility. So it's not only about people who need help, but uh, for people who is helping as well, because uh, we all different and we have all, uh, how to say, all of us have uh, a really uh, different level of capabilities for using platform. And it was really, really important for us to support all people to use this platform. And the last but not least, it's really crucial for us to provide correct message about blockchain to a wider community. I mean, you are not able just to say it's blockchain, just believers. Uh, we are paying a lot of attention for this and uh, we are planning uh, to um, leave some kind of educational section on the platform uh, to provide uh, like, you know, nice videos explaining why blockchain is important and why uh, blockchain can uh, help with uh, this process. And the last thing that I would like to mention, so we are inviting all uh, people who is interested in this uh, to contribute with us because we have our project on Hyperledger Labs and all of you more than welcome. Uh, please join us. Uh, we will be happy to see you in our team and to make it more international. Yeah, so thank you, and I will be happy to answer your questions. No questions? Then thank you once again for your attention. See you. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. So uh, the idea here is to build a trusted ecosystem and to connect uh, some, uh, how to say, great validators on the network. So first of all, it will be operator of the platform uh, and which can grant, uh, you know, the, um, the normal work of this uh, platform. Uh, with uh, all these transactions and the flutter and so on. And secondly, we are going to um, invite, as I mentioned, uh, charity, really trusted charity organizations to be validators as well. I mean, uh, two or three at the beginning, but after that, uh, maybe we will have more of them on the platform and they will guarantee uh, this uh, correct uh, working transactions. Yeah, thank you for the question.